Today we have with us Mr. Nishant uh, Pujapati. And uh, Nishant, so could you go ahead and tell something about yourself, about your background, and about your bachelor's? Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, hi, hi everyone. Uh, so my name is Nishant Prajapati, and uh, I come from Jodhpur, Rajasthan, and uh, I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from IIT Roorkee. Uh, that was way back in 2011 when I finished it, mm-hmm. and uh, after that. Uh, I worked in a uh, in a manufacturing company called Shri Cement for half a year, and when uh, that was when I realized that uh, I need to uh, do a master's degree. In general, uh, German public universities uh, do not have a, a big fees, uh, mm. a huge amount of fees, which like uh, mm. uh, USA. Mm. So this was one motivation for me. Uh, why i so wanted to uh, why i applied yeah. okay uh and another thing was that i was uh, really fascinated about europe okay. the my, uh, my in my mind i, w- I was always uh, uh, very uh, amazed with the diversity of europe and mm. different countries nearby and i wanted to explore this part so mm. that was also one reason why i wanted to that was uh, another supporting reason why i focused mm-hmm. on uh, my master's in german and uh, luckily i got into uh, my master's program which is called computational mechanics of materials and structures mm-hmm. in short comas mm-hmm. uh, uh, which is offered by university of stuttgart and uh, yeah so then i uh, thought of uh, that uh, then i found that uh, uh, it's a nice program i read a lot of reviews about it and in principle in general i found it uh, really uh, nice to let's pursue. talk about let's say commerce in university of stuttgart right now you've done the two years of your masters so i just wanted to ask now there are two parts which i as a layman can say that the student can take after doing his master one he can either go into research or other he can join the industry right So could you enlighten us as to what are the scopes in commerce after like uh, you know doing your masters in the research field as well and in the industry as well mm-hmm. So uh, commerce is a, a very theoretical course to mm-hmm. be precise mm-hmm. it is uh, strongly focused on uh, fundamentals of computational mechanics mm-hmm. uh, of materials and structures so mm-hmm. uh, in industry of course uh, what i'm seeing Uh, mm. all the pass out all the alumni uh, mm. i would say 90% of the people uh, go into industry after that so mm. in industry there's a lot of scope and uh, comas uh, there are uh, companies like desolt system which i've heard that they are actually very uh, they, they 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 like people from comas so mm. there are uh, graduates uh, who directly go into desolt system or bosch Mm-hmm. uh and there are other companies uh i know my batchmates working in airbus mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. so in principle i would say that uh, it has a lot of uh, scope mm-hmm. uh, in industry after after you graduate from comas mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, since it's a research it's a very fundamental course and uh, uh if you are inclined towards research then mm. of course uh, there are opportunities for mm. uh, research phd is also mm. for phd graduates mm. you will uh, you can see a lot of free uh, people who uh, graduate after phd they they go into industry oh that's and great. yeah mm. so and phd is considered as a really nice uh, uh career as a as a really nice uh, experience mm. uh which uh, the industry guys they they really find it uh, impressive and uh, yeah so phd in germany if you want to know how uh, lucrative phd is mm. i would say uh, uh in phd uh, there are different kinds of programs a lot of people uh, everywhere or in india they think that phd is a kind of study Mm. and uh, so it's a study program uh, in usa i think uh, you get a stipend but uh, it's not compared uh, as compared to industry it's not uh, it's like one fifth or something like that okay. but in germany uh, when you are working uh, as a researcher 
so mm. the position is called as academic researcher or in german wissenschaftlicher mitarbeiter so mm. different kinds of positions exist depending on the funding in the institute and if you find a 100% position a full position mm. so in the beginning it's uh, almost i would say uh, equally rewarding as a industrial phd is are also offered by industries mm. so even if you want you if you are clear in the beginning that you do not want to stay in academia mm. but you are still interested in research mm. and uh, research and development so you can also apply for phd's in offered by industry industrial industries like uh, in bosch i know uh, people who have pursued the phd uh, bosch uh, the th- those guys who they work in bosch but mm. they are affiliated to some university so such collaborations i have heard in audi bmw and uh, damla mm. bosch yeah all these companies they generally offer phd positions if you are interested uh, in a research and development position and mm. uh, maybe later these companies abs- uh, take you as a uh, since you they they can easily also your phd uh, so then afterwards yeah. after doing your phd you get absorbed basically in the company yes the yeah so this is also quite a common uh, thing which i have found here mm. a lot of people also go for such phd's mm. and i did my phd in uh, kalsro institute of technology mm. uh, so it was basically in a university and uh, i worked uh, uh, in the area of uh, uh, modeling uh, crystal growth processes in uh, uh, geological and uh, hydrocarbon based mm. systems mm. so of course what i studied in my masters was simulation sciences mm. uh, focusing on uh, mechanics mm. and also yeah there were other uh, physics based uh, courses where you in, in principle you uh, develop a background of computational uh, modeling uh, engineering in several different uh, systems so in a way uh, my masters helped me Mm. here to easily understand what uh, kind of uh, uh, research i need to do mm. and uh, yeah in my mm. uh, my my phd uh, uh, took around 4 Is years there any advice that you want to give for people who are actually you know applying for masters in germany uh, in the same field as computational mechanics or commerce mm. uh yeah one advice which is uh, which would be really important is that uh, since you are associated with the in the field of mechanical engineering and uh, germans are one mm. of the best in that field mm. and mostly in this field you need to uh, learn german it's not uh, like in uh, computer science where uh, people can easily get jobs and uh, easily work mm. in their companies uh, without having to know german but in computational mechanics or in computational engineering in general i think uh, having a good knowledge of german is really important mm. over here of, of course you can find a lot of pe- uh, other uh, you can find people w- who mm. can find jobs uh, without yeah. german in big companies uh, where uh, they have international working culture mm. but there are a lot of small companies over here mm. where uh, one can find a job mm. and but those companies they expect you to no, know no. german there's no the... campus placement kind of mm. thing in germany so okay. you have to find a job on your own mm. you there are career fairs there mm. are uh, uh, job fairs in every university every big university and mm. uh, it's open to all so mm. if there are job fairs you do not have to be associated with that university you can go everywhere in that job fair and there you can get to know uh, the kind of opportunities that are available what mm-hmm. are the companies uh, that can offer you opportunities that have yeah mm-hmm. opportunities so you can directly have a first hand experience with the industrial guys and uh, ask them your doubts and what kind of and enlighten yourself about uh, what is available at the moment so and after that uh, it's like uh, you apply for a job directly mm. on an open position or you can also directly mm. upload your resume and uh, your credentials on the website 
hmm. and then the companies might even uh, call you back when they have a suitable position so hmm. bo- both the things can be done uh, getting a, a permanent residence is uh, relatively easier hmm. as compared to uh, other countries hmm. other neighboring countries in europe and also compared to usa it's much right. easier so once you are uh, here and once you start if you have a masters or a bachelors or a phd degree if you have a masters degree after that uh, here you can apply for you are eligible for a permanent residence after 2 years of working wow so so like that 2 years basically even if you are employed as a phd in a uh, yes. even then you can apply okay yes it depends uh, on the kind of funding you have if you are contributing to the social security social system uh, mm. which is called rent and taxation if you are paying that mm. amount every month in the german system mm. then uh, after so there are basically multiple ways where you how the how you can apply for a permanent residence mm. one is if you have a, if you are a graduate from a german university mm. and uh, you have paid for mm. 24 months the mm. social contribution uh, or rent and taxation uh, then you are eligible in 24 months after 24 months and with b1 uh, german language mm. so german language is a must i would say with b1 german language and uh, 24 months of con- social contribution you mm. are eligible for a permanent residence and after that uh, you do not have to think about any visa extension you yes, said that was a key and insightful conversation i mean like, there are a lot of things that actually people have you know uh, reservations about when you are actually going abroad and like what you shared about the unemployment benefits and the schemes that are there and how easy actually it is to get a pr in germany i think that is something which should be really useful for you know students who would want to make a choice of you know going mm-hmm. uh, to germany for their master i think this this would actually make it a bit clear in their mind whether if they should choose germany or not over other countries mm-hmm. ऑल्सो प्लीज डू लेटर्स नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एस टू विच कोर्स और विच यूनिवर्सिटी वुड यू लाइक अस टू कवर